my twin flame is showing me what I need to heal? Um, I don't think so. Mm -mm. Do you know, like, do you, do you know what they did to me? Like my twin flame unfriended me from Facebook on my birthday. On my birthday! Like all other birthdays forever, like forever, are ruined. All of them. So what, what, how is, how is that showing me anything? I'm like pissed. Hate them. You know what my twin flame did? My twin flame went to, like, they're like, oh, yeah, I'm going to go get the mail. Never saw them again. What's that about? I think they even took the mail. Like, hello? You're just going to do that to me? I mean... What is that showing me? You know? Like, oh. Another time, like, my twin flame. Like, put my cat in the freezer. Like, who does that? I'm so upset. My, my cat was, like, freezing. I cannot believe, you don't even know all the things that they do to me. It's like, every, you know, they like put a, put a picture on social media with, with somebody, somebody else. Like, what are they trying to do to me? Like trying to piss me off? They're trying to get me upset? You know, they like, they like, you know, parade around in, like with with all these you know different uh, people that they're dating, and like everybody I know sees it, and then they tell me, like, "What do you? They're they're trying to do this to me. They're like, this isn't. They're not trying to show me anything. They're just like trying to show me that they that they're better than me, or that like they moved on and I can't, or or that they're like." I don't even know. They're not showing me anything. They're not showing me shit. Nothing. I don't even, like, I don't even want them. They want to do this? I don't want them. But, like, I'm just stuck here. I'm, like, stuck in this place where, like, I can't have them. I don't want them. I want them, but like, they don't want me. I'm just stuck here. Can't have anybody else. This is like hell. This is like living in hell. Right? Think about all of these things that you think are happening to you that are in your experience, you're experiencing them for a reason because your twin flame is showing you what you need to heal. So, for example, you know, you could say, well, my twin flame uh, just left me. You know, they, they just took off on me one day. Or my, my twin flame just said, adios, and... You know, never, never spoke to you again or whatever the case was. And so at your core, you both have the same upsets, the chi same child childhood traumas, same childhood upsets that are being called to heal. So whatever is happening that, uh, you know, they're, what it looks like they may be doing to you, is not necessarily them doing anything to you other than showing you what it, what you need to heal. So for for that example, you know, you would say, 
well, my twin flame, I'm upset because my twin flame took off on me. But what's the core upset there? It's, is it abandonment? Do you have, do you have a childhood trauma or childhood upset of abandonment? And if you do, you both do. So when you heal that, you heal it for both of you. And when you heal anything, you heal it for both of you. So this is a simple exercise that just takes a few minutes. Um, and, you know, it's coined the mirror exercise taught by Jeff and Shalia. And so we'll just jump right into it because you could literally go through and heal the things that are blocking you from union. You could heal separation. Um, so step one would be, and we'll use that as an example, um, I'm upset at my twin flame because they, you know, they just split on me. So you would you would say, okay, well, what's the core upset there? Like, what what's why am I why am I upset about this? And you know, so we'll use that abandonment uh, example, and you would say, okay, well, I'm upset because my twin flame abandoned me. Right? That would be step one. Step two is to turn everything on you. You know, this is a mirror. You and your twin flames are mirrors. What they're showing you is what you need to heal. If it doesn't bother you, then it's not an upset. If it's something that bothers you, it's an upset that you need to heal. Right? So step two would be to turn everything on you. So you would take that, that first statement that I'm upset that my twin flame has abandoned me, and you would turn it on you. So step two is I'm upset with myself because I abandoned me. And then you would say, you know, on step three would be, is there any truth to that? And, you know, 99.999% of the time, if, if this is in your experience and it's causing you uh, a negative emotion, then yes, there is truth to that. And step four is the most important part and it is, you know, to go within yourself. Uh, you can close your eyes if you want. However, you know, what, what this last part is, is you replacing whatever it is that you're upset with, with love. So you would say, you know, you would find that inner, inner child within you and you would ask it, what do you need to feel loved right now? And, you know, you, you close your eyes, wait, wait for, uh, them, your, your inner child to say, tell, tell it, tell you what, uh, it might need to feel loved. And, you know, a lot of times it's just like, I just want love or I want a hug or, you know, I, I want, uh, whatever it says. Right. And you would just give it that you don't have to stop what you're doing and like, if it says, I, I, I really want a swing set, you, you don't go out and buy a swing set for it. You just like give, give, that, give it whatever it asks for in love to your inner being, to your little inner, inner child, inner being. And, you know, you could wrap it up in your arms and, uh, you know, tell it a lot, you know, diff, different affirmations like how much you love it, how much you respect it and how much you care about it and, you know, anything really that comes to mind. Um, and you just pour out that love from your heart until you feel that that upset has been replaced by love and peace. Like it's not, you're not upset there anymore. Like that, that little uh, part of you that was once upset has now been healed. Uh, and you could spend as much time as you'd like on that last step. Uh, that is the most important step. Uh, what it generally comes down to is identifying what the upset is and then just loving it completely away. Um, that is the mirror, ex mirror exercise. Uh, you can use this, you know, on your own, practice it. Um, you know, this is what's going to help you to heal these things that, that you're, that are coming up and you might not, you know, really be uh, healing all the way and you're just like 
sitting in them and letting them stew. Uh, that's why you're getting angry. That's why you're getting, you know, really upset or uh, feel alone or, uh, <clears throat> you know, a number number of things that number of negative things that you might be feeling. So, uh, you know, if you are serious about taking, you know, the next step along your journey, uh, visit asoneguidance.com. Uh, I provide coaching sessions that will help you all the way into union. Uh, you can also, if you're, if you know, that's something that you're serious about, sign up for a 15 minute uh, free consultation and comment down below and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.